Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand arrays of structures. So, we have discussed about arrays and the concept of structures has already been discussed in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here because the understanding of arrays and structures is very much important to understand arrays of structures. And every video in our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. So now what is this arrays of structures so we are going to create an array whose elements whose elements is a structure so every element is going to be a structure every element of an array is a structure so let's try to understand that by using an example here we have created the, this example we have used in our previous example previous videos so we have created a structure student a student structure has been created it is having three variables a number name and phone uh, these are the data items of this structure and uh, uh, we have created two variables stu1 and stu2 now i want to create a details uh, i want to i want to create a structure uh, a structure is already there i want to store the details of 100 students so details of 100 students means we have to create 100 variables 2 1 2 2 2 3 2 4 2 5 2 6 so far so so on so forth until 200 so 200 100 variables are to be created which are of data type which are of type student so in order to avoid that this can be done by using by declaring only one uh, variable which is an array so let's try to understand that by using uh, our next declaration this is the kind of declaration same student structure but here we have created see here struct student student and stu array this is an array stu is an array of 100 elements which means that student stu is an array stu is an array uh, which is of type student uh, which is a structure student is a structure so the meaning of this declaration is student is an stu is an array of 100 elements and uh, this array is a uh, this array the elements of this array so int stu 100 means the elements of that array are integers here the elements of that array is struct student of type struct student so each element try to understand the declarations in better way so uh, try to understand it uh, uh, the way so so this way of understanding is very important i am stressing that again because whenever we see declarations with that we have to get some idea so that makes the programming very easy okay let's try to understand this declaration again so here what it's stating is out of this entire declaration this square brackets is having highest precedence so means stu is an array of 100 elements and each element is is of type struct student each element is of type struct student so that that is that is uh, that is the meaning of this declaration for example if this int stu of 100 student is an array and the elements of the student are integers so i'm discussing it again and again so to get the better understanding so what happens on the memory let's try to understand that also so that helps us a lot so uh, here we have to this is our memory so this is our memory so each each one so this is uh, stu of 0 stu of 0 and uh, stu of 0 is of type stu of 0 is an array and stu of 0 is the element of the stu uh, element uh, element of an array which has which is of type struct of student so this stu of 0 is having this memory location so here we are going to have a, a name sorry number number name and next one is a phone okay similarly stu of one stu of one is again going to have uh, uh, three memory spaces which is number uh, next is name next is phone so i'm not writing the full length uh, uh, names so it is number name and phone similarly is two of two see two of three so this is what we call it as array of structures this is an array of structures 
okay so now we can access as we know dot operator is used to access the member variables so uh, members members of the structure so how to access this structure for example if you want to print a stew of zero's name so it's very simple stew of zero dot name by this we are going to access this value and that will get printed for example if it is stored with vikram so that vikram will get printed in the printf statement by using the printf statement so this is the use of so it is it is almost like a creating a, a database for students not that exactly the database so it is uh, within the program execution we can store the details of 100 students so by using a for loop uh, by using a for loop we can scan the values and we can store the values okay so this is this is all about arrays of students hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching